identified a choke, a mistake over and over in their head? Um, one of the first questions I ask uh, when, when that continues to be a pattern is I ask them why. Why do you think you focus on these things? What is it? And my job, as I see it, is to continue to peel those layers away to get to that center reason. 90% of the time, what I find, they get to that center of why am I doing this? It's because of expectation. Right. Because they're not performing at the level that they thought they should. And the problem then becomes, again, you know, as soon as I start replaying this doubt over and over, I get what I focus on, right? Right. So I'm going to continue to see the same results. So instead, what, what, what I like to do is help them rewrite that story. Because we all have stories we tell ourselves. I'm not good at this. I'm too slow. I'm too this. I'll never be able to do that. I can't X, Y, Z. And the problem with that is as we have these self-limiting beliefs, we start to believe them. And we own them and they become who we are. Instead of being able to look at those things and say, wait a second, it doesn't have to be that way because right now in this very second, I can rewrite the story and I can start right now. And I can all of a sudden start to focus on all of the reasons that I have to be successful. And what I like to do is have athletes make a list of those reasons. Um, that's one really good tangible thing for a coach to be able to do to give their athletes the ability to be proactive with confidence. Sit down, have them make a list, have them write down 10 things, 10 reasons they have to be successful. What are your strengths as an athlete? And then what a, a, a great way of, of bringing that all together as a team is to have your teammates help you fill out the rest of them. Right. I've seen teams walk away feeling so good after that exercise because all of a sudden they realize, oh, my teammate feels this way about me. Right. Okay, wow, that's, that's pretty neat. And that gives them the ability then to see some of the good in themselves that maybe they weren't sure really existed. Isn't that a gift to hear other people say nice things about you you would never expect to have heard? Yeah, it's wonderful. It really is. Go to sportsmentaltoughness.com to get your free video training and guided visualization MP3 on how to perform under pressure. I'm Craig Sigal, the Mental Toughness Trainer.